Hi, I'm Jack Cush, executive editor of RoomNow.com, and I'm coming to you from Madrid, where ULAR 17 has just finished its first day. Uh, I'd like to report to you about the CRIB study, a study of pregnancy and whether or not sertolizumab crosses the placenta. Uh, in this particular study done and reported by Xavier Murray of France, they looked at 21 women who had been taking sertolizumab throughout the pregnancy and were enrolled beyond week 30. To be in the study, you had to have um, the last dose of the drug within 35 days of delivery. And at the time of delivery, they actually took blood samples from the mother, from the cord blood at the delivery from the infant, and then again they took um, blood from the infant at four weeks and eight weeks later. Uh, and they looked really for uh, sertolizumab uh, using a newly developed, highly sensitive assay for uh, sertolizumab. And what they found in this study was that um, basically almost no uh, uh, drug enters the placenta or is found in the child. Uh, and so uh, the, of the patients who they had samples on, they had 16 deliveries at the time of the study, uh, two samples were dropped for being unqualified. And the remaining 14, what they saw was that uh, 13 of the 14 infants had no um, quantifiable sertolizumab in the cord blood and that that level that was found in the one person was just over the, the detectable limits. Um, when you quantified this level with the amount seen in women, which was around 22 or 25 nanograms per, um, uh, excuse me, micrograms per ml, um, that uh, the cord blood levels was about one in one thousandth of what you saw in the maternal levels. And then when they looked at the infants later down the line at four weeks and eight weeks, again, uh, almost no cord blood, I mean, almost no drug was found in infant blood, suggesting that not only did it transfer, but it certainly didn't persist. Um, and some of these women may have been breastfeeding, as you might imagine, but we know last year from the ACR and Megan Klaus's prospective study that there's very, very little sertolizumab in um, breast milk. Again, the numbers are a log or two logs lower than that seen in, in the mother. So the bottom line is that sertolizumab is the protective drug that it might be and that it doesn't go into the infant at the time of delivery uh, or, and we know from last year's ACR study, it doesn't go in um, to women who are breastfeeding while taking sertolizumab. I think it's a comfort um, for those. I think it's a now the second study that's actually looked at this there's another study done by um, an investigator, uh, a gastroenterologist at UCSF, uh, Uma Mahadevan, has done this looking at antibody-based TNF inhibitors and also sertolizumab showing a gigantic advantage for sertolizumab, but not so good for adalimumab or infliximab, where women who take drug even after week 32 still have um, drug um, and much greater amounts in cord blood and even in children lasting out a month or more. Uh, after delivery. So this kind of data with sertolizumab is certainly comforting and um, it, it helps those of us who have to manage women who are also pregnant. Uh, tune in for more videos from ULAR on RoomNow.com.